In this movie you will learn how to insert the PDF uh, files with the reports uh, into the website and as you know you have these different tabs that we talked about in the last video and inside each tab you have the year reports related to this area of, of development. So now we're going to insert it and first of all let's remind ourselves uh, in components, drop files you have all the sections and categories uh, already made and if we take China as an example I can see that you have uh, education, environment and uh, village development and HIV AIDS and you have reports in each of them so let's use this as an example uh, however I can see that um, uh, you're not gone through this one here with saying no to everything except the title on all of them but let's leave it like this for now just so you see what happens if it is not done so these are the reports and now I want to insert them into our website so I go to the back panel and I go to article manager uh, I'll find the one about uh, China I have already sorted it here under B stands up bytes, I only get the articles that has something to do with the B stands up bytes. So I go into China. And I scroll down. Again, I will click this just to get rid of those extra lines. Uh, I have a tab called Gutenning, and this is where I want the first reports to come in and as we don't know what to do with the old reports yet we keep them and we can just write 2012 so we know that's from last year and then I put a marker on top and I say 2013 and I clear a line for to put it in there so now I'm ready to put in the reports about Utenning for 2013. Um, I've got a, um, a button down here called Files for Drop Files. So I click on this. I go into China and Education. I click on this. I have to extend my screen a little bit because let's see if I see it better. Okay, I maybe have to make my screen a little bit bigger. I've made it quite small for this demonstration. Let's see if I can do that. I close this down again. And files. This is how it normally will look. Just move it a little bit in so you can see. So I go into China, education. It shows the file and I will insert the whole category. So I click on this. Then I get this put into the editor. Looks like this. Um, you can't actually see what it is, but this is a kind of plugin for the files. And I save it. And I go back to the front page. And I do a refresh. Scroll down, and here you can see that uh, it's uh, showing the title, and it's showing the size, and download links, and everything. And this is because um, if you go to the back and go to components and drop files. You go into the China. You go to education, 
and you can see that these are all show size let's say no title yes version no hit download link show date added modified that and the category title with ending we already have a tab called it so it's not needed so now I have saved the alteration and if I now refresh the site it uh, looks more correct okay so that was the education now I go back to my article and uh, that was the education and then I have the tab about environment and uh, farming I repeat this step here 2012 oh. um. Two thousand and thirteen. Nice further up. There we are. Two thousand and thirteen, two thousand and twelve. So I go under two thousand and thirteen. We are under environment and uh, farming. So again, drop files, and we are under China. And this is the category. And I think if I go down here, I can click insert here. It will look a little bit different in your place uh, because you have the full screen resolution. Again, I should go and say no to all this except the title. So. And then remember to click save. And I'm still happy to insert this category. So now it's inserted under uh, environmental, environment, environmental project and, and farming. So I go back to the front page. I refresh it and uh, if I click on the environment it comes in here there are actually two reports here and I can see that the date modified I did not remove that so let's go in there just to quickly do that so I go into environment it's probably one I forgot to remove no and save and refresh so this is how you insert the report um, we can decide later what we want to do with uh, all the information that we have about last year um, you can put it right below each other just like you have done here 13 and 12 13 and 12 up here if you want but you will also have two of these diagrams then, one for 13 and one for 12. Um, and we can also create another tab here saying archive, where you can get access to the old report from last year. Uh, you can find out how you prefer to do that. But now you can continue to put in all these reports throughout uh, all the sectors uh, of work. And um, if you have any problem, let me know.